the only thing that really drags me out the house is dating women. And then I realized, since I became the most famous man on the planet, that dating women has changed significantly. And like most things in the world, it's- Let's uh, pause it right here, actually. What are your thoughts on Andrew Tate before we even jump even deeper into this video? All right, well, I think he is a very educated man who has definitely built a name for himself by himself, amassed a lot of wealth, and he has very good views on, you know, uh, independence and like working on yourself and not being a sheep and like all that shit. But, what? but some ah, of hey! <laughs> some of his uh, viewpoints, as we all know, are pretty controversial. And from my perspective, and from I think most women's perspective. The message that he is sending out is sending us backwards in time and... Go ahead. Because uh, I want to know how. I know everyone's going to say, oh, femininity, submissivity. No, I just want to know. I, I want to let you finish, but then I'm just going to ask how. Because he is claiming that he's stated multiple times like women can't or shouldn't or, you know, do certain things or that they aren't as good at certain things as men. And some of the things he says are true because women are naturally not as strong as men, you know? Mm -hmm. And we are, you know, biologically different, but mm -hmm. still the message he's sending out is <sighs> undoubtedly misogynistic and it's oh teaching, it's God. teaching a Bruh. lot of these young boys that this is what it's gonna take to get you happy, but reality is that's just what makes him happy. Like all of his followers have completely different lives than fucking Andrew Tate, you know? What makes him happy is going out and dogging a bunch of girls and like, you know, partying and stuff like that. But for most of his followers, which are regular ass people, you know, mm -hmm. that's not what is gonna lead them to a happy life for the rest of their life. Okay. <laughs> City ball! City Let me give you some uh, game right now. When it comes to uh, Mr. Andrew Tate, from what I've gathered, because I've watched, reacted to a lot of his videos as of this point now, I wholeheartedly disagree with the, with the second part we should. I agree with the first part, but I wholeheartedly disagree with the second part. Number one, you said something about that men and women are different, whatever. I want to know exactly what you mean when you said that. Well, men are physically stronger, mm -hmm. for one, mm -hmm. and they also... No, but what did you, what were the points that you was talking about that's the negative that you don't agree with, that you would say that's a detriment? Wait, what are you asking? <laughs> you said that he said that men and women are different, yes. and some of those points are detrimental to women. My question uh, to you okay. is, what are those points? Well, so what understand. he was saying is that, like, women aren't as good as other things. Like, women, you know, shouldn't want to make money. Women shouldn't want to drive. Women shouldn't want to do these masculine things, but... In reality, these are totally normal things that women should want to do. Okay. Uh, again, I've seen a lot of... And his... oh, go ahead. the fact that he has such a huge following and such a huge influence on these people, mm -hmm. it's just not the message that our world needs right now. And I think that that's what everybody agrees uh, on when they kick them out. No. Actually, most people disagree with him. Actually. That's I, number one. Okay. Most people... No, no, no. No, no. Now it's... City boy. Time. All right. City boy. Actually, most people disagree. Like the masses of people disagree. Now, you if you're talking about the sheep people that don't understand why they mad at him or the hot takes that he got, then I would I would agree with that. But when it comes to I don't want to be harping Andrew Tate fanboy here, but I have watched a lot of his videos and reacted to a lot of his videos. I've not once ever seen him say. Oh, women are beneath you. Treat them like shit. Fucking do what you want. Blah, blah, blah. It's always been protect them. It's always been be a man. It's always been stay on your path. It's always been this stay a masculine figure versus being feminine. So where you saying it's like hurtful, and I, my personal opinion, I think it's actually the complete opposite because it's telling men to be disciplined. It's telling men not to move on emotion. It's telling men that, hey, these are some men things and these are some women things. Now, is there context and nuance in that situation to where he may be making jokes and maybe take it over the top? Yeah, I can agree with that. But overall, I would actually say it's a positive, and I mean overwhelmingly positive movement towards a better future than what you're talking about, which is negative. 
Now, I do agree that he is promoting a lot of positive stuff mm -hmm. to dudes and, you know, their masculinity and all that. Um, but I heard a butt coming. Let me look up my notes. <laughs> she got notes. She came prepared. You. Oh. Me personally, I wouldn't take this level of disrespect. For me, I'm going to be honest. It's quite disrespectful for a person to literally not understand the totality of what you were saying. And for me, when you say misogynistic, misogyny, well, do you know the definition of misogyny? Not off the top of my head, but I know the general idea. Okay, what's the general idea? You know, not treating women equally and treating them disrespectfully and all that. Mm, uh, kind of close. Misogyny is the hatred or content of women. Hatred. That's a strong word. That means you... <laughs> idealistically hate women so that's why i don't like when people use certain okay. words All so right. so again when it comes to a lot of his takes he always he says it almost in every video hey you should protect women hey you should be willing to die for your woman hey you should be willing to die for the people that you care about and love etc blah 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 i have not once seen him be like hey treat women that shit they beneath you they should be kissing your feet then walk on the ground you walk on it has never been that type of energy ever not once you're definitely right he respects his woman definitely mm -hmm. but i mean this dude basically had a brothel like he was okay and what's wrong with that that's just his personal thing would i have that maybe not but that's just his personal fair enough but you know that's not really a good thing that's not a... okay how explain that morally me. like i mean he literally said it in his videos like throughout history like promiscuous women have been shit on yes. you know like yes. that's never a good thing mm -hmm. and he's literally doing it he's literally he's encouraging it but at the okay, same time because he was like managing all of them and he was taking 80 percent of their money okay but you you talking about multiple things at once so let me let break down this is so i'm talking about the same thing no 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 you so one you said promiscuous promiscuous and them doing cam work which i am familiar with yes. is not the same thing well i know it isn't but okay. it's the same idea it's this it gives off the same vibe you know okay and i can understand that now. it's received that. generally yeah. the same way and i can understand that people okay now continue no, 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 no. Continue with what you just said so I can go point by point. Because a lot of, this is what happens a lot of times, right? You ever, when you was a kid, you ever played a game where it was like five people and then one person tells somebody something, then the other person tells somebody else something, then the other person tells somebody else something. So by the time you get down to the end of that five, Telephone? fifth person, yeah, yeah, whatever. And by the time you get down to that last person, the message it's in and of itself is completely different than what it started with. Yes. I think that's ultimately what happens. Because a lot of times when I watch these videos, let's, let's exclude the funny, being stupid, nuanced videos of mm -hmm. like saying shit like, um, I wouldn't give a, a guy CPR, which we can talk about if you want to, whatever. Oh, I wouldn't give a, yeah. What, I mean, only that hot was girls. just something he said. Yeah, yeah. People say stuff, you know. Yeah, yeah, I So get that. I want to take that part out. So, but the overall point, like if you just watch a full interview, again, there's not a lot of things that he says that's, actu that's accurately incorrect. Most of it is based off of actual biology or science or data or personal experiences. So if someone is basing their... I guess, opinion or, or statement off of those different things, how could that be misogynistic or pre-just of, of, of women versus it's just his conclusion from those different things? Well, because at the end of the day, it's not just science. Like, mm -hmm. women are definitely made a certain way mm -hmm. that is different than men. Yeah. But as a species, all of us have evolved. And okay. what's to say that we can't do more, you know? Okay. It see like f for me when I hear what he says, it's he basically is saying that we just from his message in empowering these men so much mm -hmm. to the point where they think that they can treat women like that, like, like what, well, like just, protecting a okay, woman. Okay, no, listen, listen, <laughs> okay. listen. Just viewing them more objectively, which is. Honestly, what he's doing, he views women pretty objectively. Okay. You can't Give deny me an example, that. and then what do you mean? Well, he only appreciates women for their bodies. He says they have no other value other than, oh, if they have Botox or Wrong. EDL. 
Go ahead. No, <laughs> because that's wrong. Because he's he says the same shit every time. Every time I hear him, it says beauty, blah blah blah. That's like the standard. Wow. But Have you course. also gotta have the. A woman got to be feminine. A woman has to actually add value to your life. A woman has to bring other things to the table than other than her vagina because vagina is common. He said these takes all the time. I say these takes all the time. Yes, because in a relationship, naturally, you need more than just sex. And, you know, he's t trying to teach these boys how to be successful in both mm -hmm. relationships and, life. you know, yeah. life. Mm -hmm. But in a lot of the ways, he is literally objectifying women and <sighs> okay here's and he my, also oh, sorry okay. no, he ahead. also um i got something for you there. <laughs> <laughs> he just he says that women are able to do all of these things only because they are women, like because they have tits or ass, whatever. They're only able to get into these parties or talk to these people and stuff like that or get these jobs. He he said that in one of his No, videos. no, no. I'm, I'm saying what is false about that. There's nothing false about it. Okay. But women are more than that. We are more than just our bodies, which is what I'm trying to say. He's making it seem like we are just using our bodies or our femininity to you know, be successful to find a man to, you know, be, get taken care of. But women are so much more than that. Like we all have our own aspirations. We all have our own career ideas. Mm -hmm. You know, we are so much more complex than just, you know, something for a man to confide in and for a man to fuck. Okay. And I completely, I actually agree with that last part statement, but that first part statement Here's my, my ultimate thing about this. And actually, then I'm going to get into a more serious topic. We might have to play a little bit more of the video because I, I don't want to get sidetracked. But because <laughs> it's like three things that's happened all at once <laughs> for me. So what you just said is kind of true but kind of false. I'm sorry to say this, but every human is for their body. We start with that. And then we go to our minds. And then we go to that next. So for instance, when it comes to your body, you will be good at... Sexual shit, promiscuous shit, selling your body for your vagina, um, selling your body for your sexuality, etc. Wait, for why a... would I be good at that? What do you... I'm confused. Are you saying like any woman would yes. actually be good at that? Yes. At selling their body? Yes, because you would make money from that is what I'm saying. Yes. No. Yes. What do you mean? Just like if, and here's a counter thing, just like if men, more so manual labor jobs, or of using strength to their advantage to actually move shit and move pallets and do all these things that require a lot of strength and physical activity. So again, when I say use your body, I'm saying start with body first because obviously we are, you know, fucking physical creatures. So as a woman, your best thing is your vagina, is your sexuality, etc. For a man, that's his strength. I'm talking about body wise. Okay. Okay. Mind wise, obviously that is a little bit more overlapping because now we have the same similarities. We can think the same kind of, we can <laughs> act the same kind of, we can do these certain things at a mental capacity that is similar to each other than our bodies. Does that make yes. sense so far? Yes. All right. So for him to say, oh, you get into parties because of your body or you get into these special places because of your body, it's true. I don't understand yeah. that. Okay, so... It definitely is true. Okay, gotcha. But we can also do things by ourselves. Like, we don't just need our bodies to get us into places. We can, you know, build up to things on our own. We can get into parties through connections or business things, you mm -hmm. know? Like, it's just very confining to group all of us as just being able to do one thing because of how we look. I got you. And I get that. So, so I, I would actually agree with that. But at the same exact time, you got to understand that you are in those certain situations majority of the time because of your body as a woman. And as a man, it's because of what you have or what you bring to the table. That is the truth. Yes. Okay. That is the truth. Now, moving on. <laughs> All the women's fault. Because now women, when they meet me, they want to meet me, of course, but they feel compelled to somehow try and prove their status to me. And I don't want them to do that. Like, you're a beautiful woman. You're 19, you're 20, you're beautiful. You're, if you were soft-spoken, if you were kind with a good heart and a nice person, maybe funny,
Cool. That's all I expect of you. I don't expect you to have my kind of money. I'm a 35 year old man. I don't expect you to have done amazing things and been to a load of places. Nothing. I don't expect that. In fact, it's probably the least attractive things a woman can do is to sit there and pretend she's done these things or to have done these things. All the real G's out here know. When you meet a chick and she's like, I've been all over the world. I've been here. I've been here. I've been here. Any real G sitting there going, oh, for fuck's sake, how many trains? All right, what are your thoughts so far? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I told you, don't hold nothing back. We talking, talking. You know you got to do it. Oh, geez. Um, well, I, again, think he's generalizing. I Okay, but... From, especially from what he last... From what he said last. Oh, a woman is traveling the world, so she's fucking a bunch of dudes. Oh, my God. Stop the cap. You got to really think about it and, and really think about this, right? Majority of the time, these females are not traveling with their own money. They're traveling because of dudes are allowing them to travel, flying them out, putting them on planes, buying tickets, etc. That's majority. Now, is there some women that have their own money and travel by themselves? You and really think it's majority? I truly I know think. a lot of I know a lot of girls okay. who have traveled the world on mm -hmm. their own money. I got you. But if you was to set 100 women down that travels, etc., do you think that 51 is traveling on their own money or 51 is traveling with someone else's money? I can't say. Well, I can. <laughs> Majority of them are traveling with someone else's money because I've, I've, again, I've interviewed thousands of women already at this point, and majority of them say, oh, yeah, I get well, flown out here. Well, if the data speaks, then, yeah. you know, can't argue that. Okay. So if if that is true, right, and you extrapolate that to the whole people or women that's traveling, then you can safely conclude that majority of them are traveling on someone else's dime, right? And if that's true then you can also safely conclude that whoever's dime that they are traveling on is more likely than not likely to fuck. Yes or no? <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm not flying a bitch out that ain't fucking. I'm, go I'm keeping it a buck. No, you're definitely right, okay? You're definitely right, but... <sighs> it's just the fact that he generalizes so much and... Oh, that was my other point. So I'm gonna let you finish. Go ahead. So that, cause I was, I want to touch on that. I mean, that's pretty much all I just. Okay. Say. Here's another thing that you have to realize: when you're speaking to literally thousands of people, we have to generalize. We can't say, "Hey, um, girls that wear what the I don't know what color this is silver fucking nail polish and that's pointy figures are all ho are hoes, right? But there's only some, there's a few that, that are out there that are not going to be hoes, that are, that are going to be good women, that is going to be this, going to be that, that is not going to treat you wrong. You can't like do that because then you don't have time to say that whole entire thing because people don't have time like I, that. I understand that. So you have to generalize to some degree. I understand that, but I think that he needs to be more careful about what he's generalizing about and what he is saying to his followers mm -hmm. that he perceives as norms and that okay. they are going to perceive as norms, Okay. which maybe shouldn't be norms. You okay, know? well, that first part you just said is completely understandable, and I get that. Now, what do you mean by the second part? What second part? Which is you said some things that are um, norms shouldn't be norms. What do you mean? Give me one example. Well, just the fact that women should be viewed objectively should not be a norm okay or pause no pause if men are viewed objectively why can't women you wouldn't talk to a dude that's five foot one that's his physical appearance most girls wouldn't talk to a dude that has no money no status that live in his uh, parents I basement mean, i mean sexually objectify okay but again men and women are different so men are going to objectify you sexually and you are going to objectify us through our, our results that we worked hard for to me, there's actually no difference. To me, actually, I'm going to be quite honest with you. It's actually a benefit to you because all you got to do is work out. <laughs> all you got to do is be a good woman and work out. We got to actually build ourselves up, make money, have status, and all these other attributes for us to be even attractive to majority of women. But what you said right there, you guys have to do all those things, and yes. we should just work out. No, I didn't say you you, you just should. Well, you yeah. know, I okay, get what okay. you're saying, that okay. we just should focus on making ourselves look good yes. and, you know, whatever. Yes. But 
that again is not a message that should be sent out. Like, w- literally through all the civil rights movements, all this, uh, all this shit that women have done to get uh, stop to get equal rights, and then now he's just here saying, "Oh no, scratch that. You guys don't have to do anything. You you just have to look pretty." You missing the overall I, point. You can't change biology. I under I understand that, but women are more than just biology. We are. Trying to do things. No. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be quite honest on the show right here, right now. No, you're not. Men are not more than the biology. No one is more than biology. If a dude is five foot one and has no status, no money, no security provisioning in his DNA or his persona, no woman will want him. That is hardwired in you. Why? Because of security. Why? Because of provisioning. Same (laughs) reversely. If you are a man and you look at a woman and she's ugly or she's fat as fuck and she look like a damn whale, you are not going to find her, generally speaking, you're not going to find her physically attractive that's just how life works you can't literally tell humans hey humans even though you speak in the truth and you are speaking to most humans about human nature you shouldn't be that way we act on reality not how it should be or how it i how it the i what it was the word being idealistic no we act on reality and how things are moved so here is what you should do i'm gonna be quite honest for the 12% of women that's watching right now. Here's what you should do. Understand men for men. Men should understand women for women. If you are a woman and you understand men for men and you say, hey, I am a woman and I understand men for men, what do I need to do to actually attract men? Okay, I understand that men like attractive, loyal, feminine women. So let me have a little bit more of those traits inside of me. Same thing with a dude. I understand I'm not getting no bitches if I ain't got a job. I ain't getting no bitches if I ain't got a car. I ain't getting no women if I don't have a certain stature or whatever. So let me get those things. Why is that wrong? All right. For starters, <laughs> I did I did word what I said wrong, and I meant we okay. are more than our bodies, not biology. Okay, gotcha. Um, I mean, Which I agree with. Okay. Y- yeah, I mean, like, you know, the past century... I mean, we've had, like, women presidents and all that, and Mm -hmm. that's, like, huge progress that women are more than just being a wife, being able to take care of their kids. They are able to actually do things (laughs) that once only men were able to do. And he's trying to say, no, men can only do this. You guys need to sit back down, and we're going to take all of our stuff back that we want, you know? Okay, okay. And I under... His oh, message shit. is so appealing to boys. It is so appealing to you guys. Because Not boys. I would say men, but go ahead. Boys, men, whatever. Okay. Same shit. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it's very appealing. You guys, you know, you are learning how to better yourself, better your wealth, and find a girl that you really love, but also be able to fuck whoever you want. Of course. Yeah. And What's wrong with that? Well, it's not very healthy at all. How? Because, I mean, if you look at any relationship, mm-hmm. like any marriage, they're only happy if they're truly in love and devoted to each other. And sure, if a girl's being taken care of financially, mm-hmm. that's making up for it. That's definitely making up for him going out and having sex with other girls. Mm-hmm. But most of his audience mm-hmm. is not making his money, okay. and so Which they can't, do. you know, they can't have, you know, all the bitches that he has, whatever. But mm-hmm. he's literally sp- sending the message that it's okay to cheat and it's okay to be unfaithful. And oh my god, no, he's not. He he Here, is though. The, he's saying that if you can provide for somebody and give them love and support them, whatever they they're your emotional person. You can still do whatever you want, but she can't do whatever she wants. Okay. You ready? No. (laughs) I'm not. (laughs) Again, men and women are different. When it comes to relationships, when it comes to dynamics of just living life, etc. If I have more money, more status, more etc., I have more leverage, right? The key word of the day, leverage. (laughs) All right? So if I'm a dude that has this type of money, etc., 
I can replace you faster than you can replace me. So I have more leverage over you. So it's more likely I can do whatever more things that I want because I have more leverage. And you are more so willing to accept those things, again, because I have more leverage. Now, to be very clear, just like I, I break down these type of things as well. When it comes to a dude that's regular, that's a regular height, that's regular money, that's regular whatever, we're not saying, matter of fact, even dudes that are have money, we're not saying cheating is okay. Because we mostly say, try to be honest with your girl. Be honest with your girl. Because if you're honest, then it's, how is it cheating, right? That's number one. So we kill that argument. Number two, if you a dude, though, we just being real with women now. So we can speak very directly. Never in the history of the, I think the, probably the world, where men have been so direct and so honest with women, right? So most of the time, dudes are going to cheat anyway. So, so that's why we are just telling you, hey, you going you might you probably gonna cheat anyway. But if you are, do this. If you're not, do this. Blah 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 blah. And look this way and act this way when it comes to relationships, etc. So I'm I'm here to say I'm I don't even think cheating is okay. Should you should be honest to the girl. You should be trying to you know have some common ground with things so that way it's not considered cheating. Go ahead. All right, I definitely agree with what you say, but. If you if you see a situation like this where uh, two people are in love mm -hmm. and there's not communication between them, okay. you know, and the men the man is cheating, mm -hmm. whatever. The especially if there's like kids involved, that is just like the worst thing that can happen to a family. Mm. Mm. I don't believe so. Don't besides believe so. death, besides mm -hmm. you know a loss or something like that. I wasn't even thinking about that, but. Well, you know, but, um, or abuse, you know, yeah, <laughs> abuse is definitely that was terrible. That was second, but there's another third one, there's, which is the woman leaving. That's worse. Yeah, that's, that's terrible, but that doesn't happen too, too often. Yes, it does. That happens the majority of the time. Well. 70 to 80% of all divorces are initiated by women. Okay, well, and, I, all right, that's, that's a different topic. Later. All right, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> but, um. What I'm saying is the way he he is speaking about this so flippantly as if, oh, you could just get a new girl, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. If you if you look at it from like a broader perspective, like of a person's life going through all this stuff, going through these interactions, having a relationship with someone, having that, you know, if they go through some, sh some shit, somebody cheats, it's just never good. And the way he is portraying it is as if it's fine. But that's again not the right message to send out, especially right now. Like, <laughs> and I, I want to be clear, he doesn't even portray that message. <laughs> I, I never once heard he him not? say, "Oh, cheat on bitches." Like, I never once heard him say, "Oh, go get a girl that you love, admire, that you want to fucking take care of, etc., and go cheat on that bitch." I've never heard him not okay, once say he that. Might, he might not say cheat directly, but he does say that if a man is supplying, then he can do whatever he wants. Yes, because that's factually true. Because you have more leverage to do that. However, at the same time, it still creates all of that terrible shit to the people that are involved in that relationship. It's that, that's a, dependent. That's the that's so contextualized. It's not, I mean, yes, it I is. Yes, but if you if you a dude right and you have you're it's, six it's, three, you have money, you have status, you have all these different accolades, etc. As a woman come into that dude's life, you should have some fucking level of smarts to be like hey this dude is a certain dude i already know i'm not gonna be able to share him i just want to be his main girl i would want to just have his name as long as he don't bring no diseases or kids or whatever blah 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 i accept it no matter if that talk is very directly and they have that conversation or she just tells herself that then when you go into the actual family unit of having kids and something like that happens you already had that talk or you didn't have that talk, but you had the understanding within yourself. That would be my thing for most women. But here's in lies the whole problem. We now are at a point in time to where we, as men, are basically under attack when it comes to masculinity. Masculinity is seriously under attack. Most places don't like fucking masculine men. Most places are masculinely toxic. You misogynistic. If you want women to be women and men to be men, you are a person who doesn't validate people's feelings. If you tell men, hey, you a bitch, stop worrying about your goddamn depression or emotions and fucking do still what you gotta do, you look down upon, etc. So being like strong, like a, you know, like a granddad or a dad type shit, mm -hmm. it's like, 
uh, don't do that no more. Everybody be sensitive. Everybody be blah, blah, blah. That in lies, I think, is the whole entire problem. Go ahead. Oh, I literally just had something. <laughs> what? Uh. <laughs> Anywho, let's continue with the video then. How many, how many threesomes in hostels? Like, no, no man wants that. The most attractive thing a woman can say is, I've never, I've never been in, uh, on holiday. Yeah. I've never been anywhere. Yeah. That's what we want to hear. But now I got women who are desperate to somehow like prove their status to me. And they're saying the most unattractive shit. And it's a shame because I know that they don't really mean it. They just don't know any better. So I'm going on a date with a chick and she's like, okay, I'm meeting Top G. He's successful. He's been everywhere. He's done everything, et cetera, et cetera. I better be, you know, I better have done those things. So I'm sitting there with a girl and she's like lying through her teeth. Yeah, I go here and I go there and I've been here. Oh, you've, you've been to Greece? What, what, what part of Greece? Um, uh, I don't remember the town. Like, you haven't even been. Like, why tell me? I, I don't want you to have been to Greece. So why are you lying about going to Greece? Why don't you say, I haven't been anywhere, Andrew. I'm an empty vessel. I barely existed on earth without you. I was sitting at home waiting for the man of my dreams and now I found him. Please, can I just follow you around the world? Can I just let you take me places? I'd never go anywhere with anyone else. Then we can be in love. Why are you going to f***ing ruin it by lying? The worst thing women do is... Do you have anything to say with that before we move on? Because <laughs> well, that, that was, this is what he just said is an actual problem that I've seen over and over again is women are being masculine and, and comparing themselves to men in a manly way versus being feminine. So since the guy had got this status, got this money, she's like, oh yeah, I've been in a Lamborghini before. I've done this before. I've been there before. So she's essentially trying to compare herself and her status and her accolades or whatever to a guy when that's not what we want. We don't I mean, want you to it's compare. definitely a more traditional view, mm -hmm. for sure. Mm -hmm. That's all I have to say. Okay. They flex, now that I'm rich, now that I'm top G, king of the world. They flex other men's stuff. That really blows my mind. So I'll be in the car. We'll go to get in the car, right? Lambo. I'll get in the car. She'll struggle with the door handle. The handle's a bit unusual. She can't work out how to do it. I'll lean across, open the door for her. Why do you make a comment? She goes, you didn't have to do that. Do what? We well, didn't have to open the door. You know, I, I know how it works. It's not the first Lambo I've been in. You don't have a Lambo. <laughs> So why are you bragging that you've been in another man's Lambo? You're gonna flex with someone else's stuff? Imagine a man doing that. Imagine a man going, hey, yeah, I've been in a Lamborghini. You have a Lamborghini? No, no, no. I don't have one. That guy does. <laughs> like, what's, what's cool about that? They start bragging about, oh yeah, I, I've, been on, I've been on jets. You don't have a jet. You don't even have $1,000 in your bank account. You've never paid taxes. You don't have any money. You're a bro key. By masculine standards, 99% of women, if you were to take away the gender aspect and just look at their finances, the money they make, their mindset, their mentality, their motivation, if you were to look at most things, by masculine standards, the majority of beautiful women are losers. They have no money. They're f Go ahead. I see your face. <laughs> Go ahead. It's sassy. Go ahead. Get sassy. Go ahead. I just completely disagree with everything he's just he's generalizing in the wrong way like he's how so he's just stating the wrong generalizations around women okay how so Give because he's of... saying that most of these girls don't have their own money mm -hmm. you know don't work for themselves whatever they, no, he never said don't work for themselves. Okay, he said well, don't have the money like that. Yeah, don't have their own money. They're not as financially motivated or financially, you know, mm -hmm. astute as a man would be. But, again, I think that's totally true or false. I mean... <laughs> you said it right the first time. <laughs> no, you like, said it right the he first He really <laughs> is portraying women as, like, dumb, pretty objects, which is how we've been portrayed oh, so much. <laughs> No. And Go ahead. I, I understand the appeal to that for a man. I understand. I totally understand the appeal of a beautiful woman who has been nowhere and knows nothing. And she's just yours to protect and like mold into your pretty little partner, whatever. But most girls like this nowadays are not like that. Well, most, most American. 
Western girls, yes. Go ahead. Okay, well, I live in America, I'm so I'm... I'm, the, I'm letting the people know. Get your passport. Um, City boys! <laughs> but yeah, most... I mean, most women in America are educated, and there's... Women are doing more than they ever have done in history. I would agree but you are missing the point here boo boo the point is that majority of women are average the average of average is still average so the average of money that americans make is 48 to 52 thousand dollars a year that's average that's every human that makes money right if that is the case you can't afford a lambo you can't afford to go to greece on a, um, every weekend you can't afford these different things so he's even though he's making a generalization about women that are beautiful yeah it's still true even if you made the generalization of men that are fat it's still true because that generalization is still true because the average is still average the average person is living paycheck to paycheck. The average person is not making more than $50,000. This is average, right? So if he says majority of women, that is factually true. Yes, but that doesn't mean that those percentages are fixed. That doesn't mean that all of that data is fixed. Like, we literally are still progressing. We still have a long fucking way to go, you know, because... You know, men and women obviously have their differences mm -hmm. and, you know, just figuring out life and all that shit. It's a whole complex mess. But, you know, as a gender, we have come very far, very far. Mm -hmm. And he is giving this message to those normal people that most women are like this. Most women are like that. Mm hmm. And though it may be true, mm -hmm. that doesn't mean it should still be true in the future. And that doesn't mean that it is something that should be taught. What the? Okay. You're talking about I'll, <laughs> you were talking about future. We, we're talking about present and past. And I'm, I would actually disagree with him. And this is funny that you didn't even bring this up. I would actually disagree with him about the present, which is of right now. Because a woman that's beautiful as fuck, she can make her OnlyFans and makes more money than all these, than everyone else around her. So I would mm -hmm. actually disagree because the world is moving and shifting in a very simp culture of all the beautiful women are getting the majority of the money from all the simps. And all the men that have money and status are getting all the women. The whole culture of di a dynamic of dating is sh literally shifting. <laughs> so... I would actually disagree with him, and I'm and I'm kind of sad that you didn't bring that point up, and I had to basically bring that point up for your or the, for your side. Oops. But <laughs> but when it comes to the dynamic of him assuming and generalizing about women, men, etc., is based in data, statistics, and science. My overall point about your whole dynamic of your I guess conversation is if someone is basing their words off of that. How could they as a person be a bad person? How can they as a person be teaching bad things if they are coming from a point of data, statistics, and science? That's my overall point about this interaction. Because again, a lot of people hear and say, oh, he's misogynistic. And then I'd be like, how? He, how does he hate women? Oh, because of this, because of that. And then those things that they listed are things that are specifically accurate when it comes to like telling the truth type no, of thing. No, I totally get that. Like okay. I said, the data can never lie. The numbers can never lie. But it's the way that he no, it's, the, it's way. the way that he gives out his message mm. and it is the way that it is being perceived by everybody. Because you were saying earlier, like it's a lot of context and yes, whatever nuance. with certain situations. Yes. But on the internet with most things, you don't get context. Like you usually True. just see a clip of something, you I know, agree. a tweet here, snapshot, whatever. So most people aren't getting any context and what they're receiving, you know, from these people. Mm -hmm or the messages that they're receiving. And because of that, they take most things literally, most things that are said literally. They're taking what he is saying literally because, mm -hmm. you know, that's what normal ass people do. They don't yeah. read too much into it. They I just agree. see shit, move on, whatever. I agree. But because of that, because that's how people are, he can't be giving out his message like this because of how whenever I, I would hear... Of course, for a man, you can't, you know, understand what it would feel like. But when he would say some of the things he said, I was like, damn, like, ow, like, Okay, name fuck? one. Okay, name one. Man, I was trying to find this one clip for like an hour, but I guess I didn't save it. But 
I mean, a bunch of the stuff he said in this video, just the way he speaks about women in a demeaning way, not, it's usually demeaning, oh although God. he does, he does say his good things, you know? But here's, he has, he has a picture of the ideal woman and, you know, the ideal man, but that's, you know, his picture and he's describing it to his audience in his own way. That's but the Bob way is. that he's doing it, parts of it are good. A lot of it is good, you know. A lot okay. of his, you know, you know, not break the chains, whatever. Do your own thing, mm -hmm. you know. Fuck society, whatever. All that shit is great. I'm not going against any of that stuff that he said. Mm -hmm. But purely on his views of women, he is just not sending the message out in the right way. Though the facts may be correct. Um, the, what's the word? Delivery? Yes. The delivery <laughs> is fucked up. And no Congratulations. You, you played, played yourself. yourself. Here is the actual truth, right? <laughs> no, no, no. Here, because you, you got to understand the world as the world, right? The world that we live in is very non-contextual, non-nuanced. You have to be out there rageous, crazy. You have to do something outrageous just for you to gain and garner attention, right? Mm -hmm. So for, I don't know if he did this purposely or he did it by accident, but if he was to come along and say, oh, talk the right way, give it a, a meaning of, of not be, I guess, abrasive, uh, my word choice would be then that message wouldn't get across to so many people. But since it's now gotten across to so many people and so many people have gravitated towards back to him, now he can speak in a more contextual way to clear up all the things that he said before versus him not existing and men continuously be weak and oppressed. Weak and oppressed and guilt the shit that you was talking about earlier on the on the. Do you think he's Instagram. God or something? No, what the <laughs> fuck? No one's God. What the fuck are you talking about? See? No, like, hold on, no, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Sassy. Sassy. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Because you just said without him, men would just continue to be oppressed. And like, when no I say men, I'm not talking about him. I'm talking about yes, because he literally hundreds of thousands of people listen and follow his advice, go to his lives, etc., and listen to his voice when it comes to how to be masculine, how to be a man, etc. I teach the same shit, but obviously I'm not as more popular as fucking Andrew Tate. Mm -hmm. My point is that us men, right, we look at other things and other successful people. So if we see somebody that are getting the same results that we want, we are more likely to emulate that person because we are a people, I'm sorry, we are a species of results, right? So if he has the results that we want, we are going to listen to him. So by doing that, and he comes and gives context of this thing that I said, I meant it in this way and blah, 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 and blah, 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 then now you are actually positively affecting the youth versus what you are talking about, which is negatively affecting the youth. Well, he's positively affecting boys, but, mm -hmm. you know, like I said, from hearing what he said and from meeting people who listen to him, who mm -hmm. follow him, mm -hmm. those, those dudes have never made me feel good. They've never made me feel good about myself. They've mm -hmm. never... Literally, they've just always been either jerks or mm -hmm. very egotistical, you know, stuff like that. And <sighs> hold on, I want to actually wrap this thing up. But oh so God. I was so hold on, hold on. So I gotta put this. City boy. I gotta put this to bed. Here's what's actually happening in the world right now. The world is is swung, right? So the world was leadered by men, masculine the way, blah, blah, blah. That was the correct way, blah, blah, blah. That was the leadership way, right? Now it's swung all the way down to the feminine way, blah, blah, blah. So now you have to think like a female to be successful in the world that we live in. Or you get canceled, or you get uh, labeled misogynist, sexist, all the other extra shit, blah, blah, blah. Once it swings, it has to swing back. It has to swing back to balance each other. So now we are in an era where men are coming and being like, hey, no, nah, fuck that bitch. Stop worrying about bitches. Get on your purpose. Stop worrying about hoes. Uh, get off OnlyFans. Stop having porn when it comes to that. Stop doing certain things. So that way you, as a man, can be a better man and actually get back into the life in the world that we live in. Because the world that we live in right now, I'm gonna be quite honest, is run by females. <laughs> And since that is happening, men are becoming more feminine and women are becoming more masculine. And it's fucking up the dating market 
as a whole because now the women are only going for the top dudes and men are not getting no play. So that's why OnlyFans is up, porn is up, um, all these addiction of mental health is up, etc. So that's why we have a problem in society today because of that swing of going all the way to the feminine way. Now we have to have things to push it back to balance it. That would be my hot take, and that would be the take that I would say, point blank, period. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. Anything to say? Because I want to. I mean, thoughts. I don't. I don't think we live in a feminine world. I think our, oh. as a whole, I think our world is predominantly run by men. In in the United States and more pro progressive places, mm -hmm. it's definitely more feminine now. But I don't think we need to swing back to, you know, the whole patriarchy. Men are the only ones who can work. Women. I didn't stay say home swing thing. back all the way. There's a there's a pendulum, right? Yeah. The side is all men. You stay at home. Don't work. You're not allowed to do shit. Yes. Right. Yes. This one is women are winning. More women are in college. More women are making more money. Women are up in OnlyFans. Do you know last year the one of the most person who made money was what was her name fucking bad baby or some shit she made 52 million dollars that's more than any nfl player that's more than any soccer player that's more than any of those and they uh dedicated their whole lives to that shit yep. and she made more money than them exactly if you if that don't let amazing. you know no it's not if that doesn't let you know what's fucked up world that we live in i don't know what okay no nah, yeah fair enough if it's from sex work yeah that's my point. Yeah. So now, <laughs> thank you. So now it I has to swing back <laughs> to get back in the middle to where it should be. That's my argument. Okay, that's that's definitely fair, and I agree with that. Mm -hmm. But I don't think that at the same time we should be pushing back on women being active in their communities, education, trying to make money. I think that they should mm. okay. try to go back to, you know, I think you're right in I'm about saying. To go in. Go I ahead. think I think you're right in saying that it's becoming too mixed up. Women are, as a whole, become like a little more masculine, and mm -hmm. men are becoming softer. Yes, feminine. Yes. Um. But I, in some cases, it's bad. In some cases, it's good. It's good that women are more educated. They're more active. They're, you know, doing more. At the same time, having families and stuff like that, but he's just telling everybody that it should only be men, and only men are capable of doing these things. Okay. I'm about to trigger you. <laughs> I'm about to trigger you, and I don't care. No oh boy. It should be. We have never lived in a world, right, in a society, I should say this, we have never lived in a society where it has been equal or ran by women, not once in the history of humans, right? So, what? Go ahead. Is there a society that I don't know about that has been ran by women? The Amazons. <laughs> the bad bitches. Uh. Anyway, uh. <laughs> there has never been a society that stood the test of time that have ran by women. Period. Mm -hmm. So why is that from from China, from Africa, from the United States, from wherever? It had not been ran by women. Obviously, they had queens and kings, etc. in certain places, but those people were men protecting the women to be in power, right? <laughs> so it still was predominantly ran by men. So uh, my argument is, and I don't want to get into it because this is a whole nother video, but my ultimate argument is who's to say what's right? and what's wrong and what's good and what's bad. Because the path that we're going down now, who's to say that China doesn't be like, you know what? We are a place that is more traditional. We're a place that has ran by men. Oh, y'all look weak over there. You know what we gonna do? We gonna take y'all shit. And then they actually take our shit and people, millions of people die. I don't, so, so in my head, the best society to live in is more so a society to where it will naturally be. Like if me and you was in the nature somewhere, you ain't running me. I'm running you, right? So if there's no there's no dynamic to where you are going to be leading me, and, and I'm not I'm gonna be following you. It's gonna be more so the man is gonna be leading, and you're gonna be following. And that's how society should be because that's what the different roles are. Because men are more so suited towards leadership, etc., and women are more suited towards nurturing, etc. So. My ultimate point with this is, and I don't want to get too long because this is long-winded by now, is 
we haven't seen a society that's ran by women. We haven't seen a society that's very equal when it comes to men and women. And who's to say if it's right or wrong? I don't know. So I, I do I do wholeheartedly believe that a woman should have you know autonomy over her body. She can do what she wants with her body. She should be able to do blah, blah, blah. But you can't run away from the consequences of those. Nor can you run away... Uh, I'm sorry, consequences of those actions. Nor can you run away of the guys that are going to judge you for those actions, just like you judge men for their actions. And that's my ultimate point. Anything else? <laughs> Whew, God oh, damn. Because <laughs> we can talk, but me and God damn. Oh, I don't want to say your real name. Me and A. Jizzy can talk. God damn. Go ahead. Well, I think you are fundamentally right that as a whole, society would function best with us doing our, you know, what we're made for, pretty much. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. Um, I definitely agree with that. But. But. <laughs> <laughs> but. but um, you know, like, I've, I mean, I've been saying this, like, we... We did come, we come from these base things that we are, you know, meant to do. Women mm -hmm. should bear children, men mm -hmm. should protect them, of all course. that. Yes, 100%. Um, but in our day and age, it's, it's really not that simple anymore. Like, um, a woman cannot, especially if a woman is not okay with her man cheating on her, mm -hmm. which is most women, mm -hmm. you know, that's mm -hmm. pretty normal. Yeah. Um, they cannot expect to rely on a man for their entire life. Like when I was growing up, my dad was always like, get in school, make sure you, you have a job, you have mm -hmm. a career, you have something lined up so that you can be okay. If something happens, you know, your husband dies, whatever, you have something to back you up on. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I think that's really valuable. And I think that women should work for something in their lives besides just being there for a man and bearing his children, you know, mm. and because he is saying all of thing, all of these things <laughs> to all these regular ass people mm -hmm. who normally do not be cheating on each other and living in this dynamic toxic life that he is living. That's false, but I'm gonna let you continue. They, whatever. They definitely cheat. Come on now, let's keep it. Around. Okay, yeah. yeah. Most a <laughs> lot of people do. Yeah, a lot of people do. <laughs> most people do. But, most people have cheated before. Okay, yes, but most happy relationships. You know, mm -hmm. they're faithful. Okay. Um, and that should be that should be the message promoting because in at the end of the day, like that's really what life is about, finding love and finding your purpose and you know, making your mark on history if that's something you want to do. But okay. for most people it's just finding love and like genuine connection and all that. And I just cannot accept that he is trying to promote such a toxic lifestyle that is totally working for him and it may work for a lot of wealthy dudes. Go ahead. I'm okay, I shouldn't I shouldn't say the lifestyle because he's promoting great to things. Say. Yeah, I'm yeah. About to okay. Say. What the but fuck? just just the view that he has of women and I think it's because of his dad, like how his dad, you know, was with his mom and stuff, like that's what he grew up and saw. Mm. I mean, same with me. Like I saw my dad cheating on my mom all the time. Like mm -hmm. that was just normal. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, that always, usually always breeds conflict mm -hmm. in a normal household. Oh, okay. And that is what he is promoting to the world. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Wrong. <laughs> and then I'm going to finish this up. He's actually not promoting that because he's promoting you to be exceptional and then you doing that. So I want to clarify that. He's not promoting average ass niggas to fucking go about and cheat or do whatever you want to do and okay. blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it's, I know that. it's try to strive to be the best version of yourself through money, through physical, through mentally, et cetera, and having the option to do that if you so choose. And because that's what exactly what I preach. Um, anyway. What's your Instagram? Because I want to wrap this shit up. What's up, guys? It's AJ on replay. AJ on replay. All right. If you enjoyed this video, make sure. I think you... I won. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like me, subscribe. If you want to follow her, her link to her Instagram will be in the description below. I may I'll probably cut this out in different points and different shits because this shit is way too long. But <laughs> we need to get none of the video because we got no arguing, talking. <laughs> but all right, peace. <laughs> what the fuck?